everyone fit and healthy? Yeah, yeah. The only concern really was Jerry Collins. Uh, took a, a nasty whack against Glasgow, but he's recovered and um, we were able to select from a full strength squad. Yeah. Going to Leinster, you, you've got the confidence of winning in Munster, but it's still maybe a step up again, is it? It's a step up because it's a final and, and uh, everything's on it really, and there's a, a lot of uh, extra, you know, incentives there in terms of players finishing coaches leaving, um, a trophy at stake, you know, uh, bragging rights and so on. So um, the intensity would def- definitely be there. But what we can do is take the experience of winning away in Ulster and Munster, um, Scarlet and Glasgow early in the season, um, and use that to galvanise us to go to, go to Dublin and, and produce a win. Leinster, of course, seem to have come of age at the very highest level in the last 18 months or so. They're a tougher prospect than maybe they once were. Yeah, they are. It's, it's obviously taken a lot longer than 18 months. You've just seen the fruits of it in the last two years. Uh, there's been a lot of hard work behind the scenes. And I think it's a mixture, really, of, um, of this coaching team, giving, giving them a hard edge, along with some really key overseas signings, coupled with the, the, the main spine of, of local players that they've kept over a long period of time. You know, you, you know the names. And uh, you know, that's a, a recipe that's, that's worked for them, similar to Munster's, and, and one that we're building here ourselves as well. There's obviously always one up front, and that's where they've developed their hard edge. You've got a pack third international level that can go over there and, and take them on. We'd like to think so. You know, uh, the spine of our pack has, has been Ross Bay Rugby probably from the start, and we've added uh, the likes of you know Jerry Collins, Marty Holler to give um, a little bit more of a, an edge and experience with Philo Tia Tia. Um, uh, it's, uh, but for me, the significant factor has been the growth in people like Adam. And Paul James, Alan Wynne Jones, Jonathan Thomas, uh, Hugh Bennett, you know, Richard Hibbert, those sort of fellas. Um, they know what Osprey rugby is all about, what it means to them, and um, that, that I'm sure will come through in a final. Do you have a feeling this time round, the grand final method, the best side in the Celtic League will be crowned champions? Yeah, I think so. I think the playoffs uh, have been a real success this year. You know, uh, It's the right fixture for the final. Leinster have won the most games. They finished top. We finished second. We worked hard to get there. Uh, there were two very tough semi-finals with uh, the four teams going at it, hammer and tongs. And um, I think rightly so that uh, first and second are playing out at the home venue of, of the top team uh, over the, the regular season. So, you know, the incentive for us now is to knock them off the top and, and finally win the trophy. So it's got all the ingredients and I, and I think credit goes to, to, uh, to everybody in, in making it such a season. Last time you won the trophy, it was away in the borders. If you can win this one, it'll be a slightly bigger occasion, won't it? Well, no, that meant a lot to us. It meant that uh, the first one wasn't, uh, you know, by by chance. You know, uh, we worked hard to get that. We played five games in 18 days back then, and I think to win any trophy, you have to show that level of of work rate and um, and tenacity and endurance. And that's what the season is now. And both teams have worked hard to get there. Uh, we've had to go on the road and, and, and claw our way back into this league, and uh, and so we got the momentum with us now. So um, it's all to play for. The Blues went on the road and managed to win a final. Did that mean they took a step that you've yet to take in terms of winning massive games on the road? I don't know. I think we've uh, we've made significant wins in our short history. Um, you know, it's really fantastic the Blues managed to do that, but you've got to put in perspective. You know, it, uh, in, in the competition, this is uh, one of the major competitions that we're playing in, and um, you know, it's, it's a huge challenge. You know, Leinster aren't current. Oh, sorry, last year's European champions and, and, and Magnus the year before. They're not that for, for, without a, a significant reason. Um, so it's a, it's a huge standard. You know, it's a, the intensity and the occasion will be massive. But then again, you know, we, we've had a lot of those as well. And uh, we're regularly beating the top sides in Europe now, both us and the Blues. And um, that can only be good for Welsh rugby. Because in terms of Beerus, it was very close, didn't quite win. There were a few other examples that could be named. It would be a really big statement for the region if you can go there and win. It would, be, it would yeah. remove a lot of the questions along those lines. Oh, it would. Look, in a, in a major competition, you know, we went to Twickenham and played uh, Leicester a few years ago in the EDM, put in a huge performance. Um, you know, that, that, that's the sort of thing we're looking towards. We've got experience of that. Uh, and, and you're right, coming close, even in Clermont this year, uh, it was close. And, and Perpignan last year was, was extremely close. Two games perhaps we could have won. Um, but it's getting over that line to, to show that you know we can actually achieve, and um, you know we've got that belief now that we can go and do that.